Hey, this is Chris Menard. Let me show you something really neat in Microsoft Excel today. I'm going to show you how to do subtotals and then totals and do it correctly. So I have a list of three states in the southeast, three states in the northeast. The correct way to do this, by the way, is to highlight this range, hold down control, this range, auto sum, and then your grand total right here. Highlight, auto sum, and if you notice, <clears throat> the 52 is the sum of B9, comma, B5. So it's picking up the subtotals. But the issue is this. Let me get rid of that. Occasionally when you do the grand total here, mine happened to come out correctly because I did it correctly, but you may end up with that. So it's twice what it needs to be. And then you auto fill over. And then if I do average, max, those are all wrong. So let me come up here and type in total. And then I'm going to do the average and then the highest, which is going to be the max. And you'll figure it out from here. So here is the correct way to do this. Get rid of this. Get rid of this. I'm going to just do all three at one time. It's going to be equals. I'm going to use the subtotal function. And when I do equals subtotal, hold on one second. I'm back. Equals subtotal. When you do equals subtotal, it wants to know what you want to do. Let me start again. Equals subtotal. I want to do the average, so it's, I'm sorry, I want to do the sum, so it's going to be the number 9, comma, what's your range? And I'm going to do control, enter on the keyboard, that'll fill in all one of, all of those. Now you're saying, Chris, isn't that the same as just doing auto sum? I'm getting the same answers, but it's not the same, so watch this. So I'm going to do it again right here. I'm going to just do all three at once, instead of having to auto fill. I'm still wanting to sum, and this time it's this range, control enter. The advantage is this, if I want to know my total now, I'm going to go ahead and screw this up real quick. If I auto sum again, 30 plus 22 is 52, not 104, and I do not, do not do that. You're going to get the right answer, but don't do that. You're going to use that subtotal function one more time. I'm still going to do the number 9, comma. Look, pick up the entire range. Watch this. 52. The average. Don't do average, because it's going to be wrong. Equals subtotal. Average is the number 1, comma. Pick up the entire range. So the average for the month of January is 8.6667. Let's test that. Highlight this range. Highlight that range. 8.667. We're good. One more. Highest. That is going to be the number 4 for max. I should get, not 30, I should get the number 12. And I did. Let's test it real quick. Change this to 35. Everything's correct. So there's the total for January, the average, and you could autofill those over if you wanted to. I could have done them down below. I'm just showing you that if you're going to do subtotals and then totals, use the subtotal function. One last thing. Let me start a new worksheet. Um, 15 numbers. They're all going to be the same. The number 1, control enter. Equals subtotal. If I want to sum those up, obviously, again, that's the number 9. A lot of people don't understand what 109 is for. If I do 109, comma, this range, 
the 109 compared to the 9 is going to do this. If I hide row 8, it picks up that I, it picks up and includes, sorry, it picks up and does not include hidden rows, which is kind of good. If I just did 9, I got 15. I'm going to undo, and then I'm going to redo. So 109 versus 9, you see the difference. Anyway, so now you know how to use the subtotal function. If you need Microsoft Excel training, give me an email or if you want to sign up for my Excel training online, there's my website with the training class. Thank you for your time.